body count is high and you're young. You've got bare wrappers on your body count, bare features. It could be a whole mixtape. No one knows who I was before Diggity. You definitely knew who I was. Let's not lie about that. And you literally let someone take your virginity for a feature and your music career still did nothing. This whole situation started when Tennessee Thresh made a TikTok story time GRWM get ready with me, spilling the tea on a famous couple who looked at her the way she thought was flirting behind the scenes on a podcast. Okay, let me tell you guys a story. I haven't done a story time in ages because they were getting a little messy, but I'm back on my... Okay, so the last like week, um, I've been filming Spill the Juice and we've been filming it in like consecutive days. Usually we do it like once a week, but that's literally so relevant to this story. And we had like this couple on and basically like the girlfriend of the couple was literally giving me the eyes the whole time. And like, I know when someone's trying to give me the eyes, she's like giving me the look, but like the... And like she just kept trying to flirt with me but it was only when her partner wasn't around and like do you realize how insane that is to me you're literally in your you're with your couple we're interviewing you on spill the juice and while she's there you're flirting with me like and i don't even swing that way so i don't even know what gave her the vibe that that was gonna happen but I actually feel sorry for her girlfriend because after she was posting the photo of me and her calling me her little sister and I was thinking, this is so awkward. But you know them ones where you actually come forward and tell her, I told her and then she's trying to come for me as if I'm deluded and making the whole thing up. Like, okay. I don't even know if I should post this, but it's just, what would you actually do if you were with your boyfriend and he and you caught him like staring at another girl while you were there? At this point, everyone realized who she was indirecting based on snaps or photos we can't find. But in the TikTok search bar of her video, it states Pagey Cakey, meaning it was about her and her girlfriend. Pagey Cakey responds with fire on TikTok, which is now deleted and all hell breaks loose. I wasn't even gonna do this, but the simple fact that someone is trying to draw me, not even someone, Tennessee, you're trying to draw me out. Are you f dumb? Bro, the energy was good, so I don't know why you're coming with this energy. When I saw you in person, you didn't say shit like this. No one was looking at you. One thing I'm not gonna allow you to do is try and tarnish my whole relationship. You're cute, but you're not that. You're not that, you're not it. Allow it, you're a loser. You're a clout chaser, bro. No one even knew who you was until you dig a D. Allow it, keep my name out your mouth. And let's leave it at that because I'm not about to do this in an and I see you in person in Tennessee responded on her Instagram story and she didn't make a video response. Only a day after and people were stitching. Pagey's video. Loser, you're a clout chaser, bro. No one even knew who you was until you dig a D. Guys, I can't lie, I'm gonna give Paige her flowers to this one. She ate. Yep. Tennessee, personally, if I was you. Um, you gotta get your lip back. No one even knew who you was until you take a D. Hey, poor. Um, I know me. I have that. <laughs> Allow it. Kala, I said the same thing. I never knew her before Digga D. Everyone was like, no. She's been like, no. I didn't know her. Most of her career mostly started from that. Like, oh, she sits on that podcast. Tennessee is so messy on that. I feel like they brought her on there just because they know she's going to run her mouth like, but don't try Pagey Cakey, do Pagey's, Pagey's ready for you, bro. <laughs> You're a clout chaser, bro. No one even knew who you uh, So Pagey's beefing Tennessee because Tennessee's been way too chatty. I think it's because Ten said that her girl's been eyeing up her batty. Personally, I wouldn't have it, but I don't want to make things bigger. I can't believe what Pagey Cakey just said about Digger. <laughs> We decided to do some investigative work and realized Digga D and Tennessee were dating and in an intimate relationship about a year ago.
Tennessee then decides to respond, a day later with several posts, and deletes on TikTok, of her coming for Pagey Cakey, and it gets worse. This Pagey Cakey, be f girl. You're actually f deluded, like, we both know what happened that night I spilled the juice, and if you choose not to accept it, then that's actually on you. Don't try to switch the narrative now that I'm chasing clout. Why would I chase clout with you? What the and you can't have no chat for me about no one knows who I was before the Lee. You definitely knew who I was. Let's not lie about that. And you literally let someone take your virginity for a feature and your music career still did nothing. And you want to call me the loser when you know that your girlfriend was trying to move to me while you were there and you're still posting me up on your story after calling me your little sister. Mm. But I'm definitely not a hard person to find and I'm sure you're not either. So I guess just see you soon. <laughs> We thought it ended there but, a possible ex-friend of Tennessee's, came out to spill more tea on a, previous situation which sparked, Tennessee to make another video. I was gonna make a video for when you were bullying Coco just for using TikTok, but we'll start with your lies. You're a known liar. First of all, you say you don't swing that way, but you're known, you're literally known for having threesomes all the time with your girls. Like, do you think I could be out here cheating my friends, waved or not? Before you even got with Digger, that was something that was going around that you and your friend piped him. So what do you mean you don't swing that way? Let's not even start about you pulling up on Lil TJ in a Holiday Inn to pipe him when he was in a relationship with your friend. So what do you mean, bro, acting like you're some loyal girl? You pipe my man who have girl. Like, what do you mean, bro? On top of that, you said you'd never pipe another UK rapper. I literally saw you in Paris with Russ leaving on a Welling flight. Like, literally, you were in front of me. So allow it, bro. Try play it off like you're in Disneyland, bro. You were with him, piping him, so allow it. And I don't know why you and your girls were staring me up like I gave a f about you lot. This other girl, yeah, that's tried to creep in through the hole. Go away, you freak. I don't even know who you are. Like, cool. I knew with Paige Cakey, we, we have an issue. Like, we're arguing. Cool. She's a whole other se separate situation. This girl, I don't know her. I've never seen her in my life. I've never spoke to her in my life. She apparently sees me out all the time and I screw her. I don't even know who she is. I'm not clearing up that threesome rumor one more time. I have never in my life had a threesome. And I probably never will in my life have a threesome. I'm very open about the topic when I talk about it. And I don't rule it out. Like, you know, I say when I'm older and I'm with my husband and things got a bit boring. But I'm yet to experience that. Okay? So I don't know who this girl is. And then why little TJ? And why Holiday Inn? Like... I don't know if she's genuinely like heard that or if she's just made that up off the top of her head, but come on, come on Zara now. And I've never, ever, ever traveled alone with someone and I've definitely never jeeted that certain person in my life. And since she's so in my business, maybe she should do her research properly and make her stories a bit more believable. But and the worst part is like, I've actually gone to DM her because I'm like, I actually think she has mental problems because to make up all, like to really make that up, to say I'm known for sleeping with my friends, like that are girls, it's so weird. And as soon as I've gone to DM her, request, accept request messages, she's tried to DM my DMs before. She's actually a fan. And also she blocked both my TikTok accounts so I couldn't even see her video or comment on it. I don't even know this girl. Like, I actually don't know her. I've never seen her in my whole life. I'm, I must have done something to pick her up. I must have picked like her cousin or like her cousin's cousin or something. And you guys on the internet are actually entertaining it. Like, you're actually commenting as if I actually linked little TJ at Holiday Inn. Be f girl, guys. Come on. <laughs> like, I'm not even moving bougie, but I wouldn't go and link anyone at Holiday Inn. Even if I was a famous rapper, I wouldn't go and link anyone at Holiday Inn. And I'm saying that in the most humblest way ever. I'm just not, like... <laughs> then Tennessee makes matters worse. When she posts and deletes a photo of Paigey Cakey's shaved head after a hair implant surgery due to traction alopecia trigger warning. I ain't gonna lie, me too. When I went on her page and seen her pictures, I said, oh, I won't jump scare her. <laughs> Paigey Cakey then responds with one final post, which is now deleted, and it's safe to say she ended it. I don't even know how to start this video, so. Firstly, I'm going to say I didn't remove that video yesterday. TikTok removed it. It said that I violated all the guidelines. I just think I came across as aggressive and rude because I was in a moment. Um, yeah. Little Miss Scatel, your response was dead. It was weak. It was B-Tech. It was below average. 
You chopped up a whole video to send for me. Like you edited a whole video. Like if you're gonna come at me, come at me on a one take. It's embarrassing. Like, I don't know, that's mad. And then you're saying that I lost my virginity for a feature. Me, me. Come on, I know my worth, you don't know your worth and that is the difference between me and you. We are different kettles of fish. A different kettle of fish. Like your body count is high and you're young. You've got bare wrappers on your body count, bare features. It could be a whole mixtape. And you're here pre and me and my girl's relationship. Get out of here. After this post, everything was more or less quiet on Tennessee's part. But people stitch Pagey Kiki's post. And others address Tennessee's insensitive behavior with the photo of Paige's alopecia. You've got bare rappers on your body count, bare features. It could be a whole mixtape. Oh my god. That one there. Dangerous. If I was Tennessee, I'm going straight to bed, man. Hell no. Bare features. It could be a whole mixtape. Oh. Oh, you said a mixtape, a whole album, Tennessee, and you're going to have that. See me personally, I'm not having it in it, but it's up to you, and it? It's up to you. Paigey Cakey never addressed Tennessee's insensitive post and delete of her hair transplant photo due to alopecia. But we found someone who analyzed her malicious behavior. There's no way I'm the only person watching this beef from my bed. And I'm just thinking, babe, Tennessee, beef is not your strong point. I just feel like you need to retire from now because saying, oh, we'll jump scare to someone's hair transplant because they have they had a medical condition is giving mean girl vibes. It's not giving good vibes. The whole story itself is giving, I don't know what sort, of, it's giving weird. Like, we should have just nipped it in the bud. We should have nipped it in the bud. You should have take, you should have take, took them looks, spoke to your little group chat and called it a day. Because I know there's 101 rappers who you have stories about, but you're not, do you know what I mean, coming on social media with them because you know they were actually, you know. <laughs> and on top of that, before she said the story, she was like, oh, I stopped the story time because they're getting a bit messy. So what do you think this is? Like, girl? Like, I used to love Tennessee. Like, I, I think she's such a pretty girl, but this is what i mean by some influencers just need to stay with just taking pictures because the talking thing you're gonna get yourself into trouble you're gonna show your real character like when we see people's real character it just makes you look why why you gotta add like it and also on top of that um page kk has been in the spotlight for like at least a decade now with her rapping what you do road no 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 all of that's rubbish you really wanted to go up against that. Ch and plus, she's from the hood as well. So you know that they, they know how to fight. They know how to cast all these things. Tennessee, listen, babe. Just delete the videos. Keep it moving. We'll all forget about it next week. Do you know what I mean? There's always a new setup next week. Let's, 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 let's leave it. It's getting so embarrassing. Paigey Kiki then posted a video on her Snapchat saying that all the videos she posted were for promo, meaning that everything between her and Tennessee were fake to promote for an upcoming video on a podcast. Yo, you think this is true? Let us know in the comments section below. Um, I have an announcement. Please ignore them TikToks that I'm putting up. View them, but ignore them. I'm getting paid to post. <laughs> paid to post. Paid to post. Paid to post. Some people did speculate that this was probably fake for promo, but it went too far clearly. And finally, everything was quiet after. Today's Ann Pagey Kiki just posted compilations of her girlfriend in her Instagram story, whilst Tennessee posted a shady last statement.
Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's free, of course, for more updates on the latest hot spicy beef. Thanks for watching and God bless.